Good evening. I'd like to call the regular monthly meeting to order. Would everyone please rise for the prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance. Dear Heavenly Father, we are mindful this evening of the many ways in which you continue to bless this school district. We are grateful for our employees, our students, our parents, and our community members who continue to join together to make our school district child-centric. As we move toward the end of the first semester of our work together, we ask that you instill in each of us the peace and goodwill toward all men that are the mark of this time of year. These things we ask in your name. Amen. 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 Mr. England, would you lead us in the pledge, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Ms. Voce? Mrs. Acevedo? Here. Mr. Campbell? Here. Dr. Kraft is not with us. Mr. Egan? Here. Mr. Gaines? Here. Mr. England? Here. Mrs. Dysart? Here. Mrs. Lemoyne? Here. Dr. Lewis? Here. Mr. Long? Here. Mr. Warner? Here. Thank you, Ms. Voce. First item on the agenda is um, a presentation by Valero, and they will make a um, a special donation to the Special Olympics and we're very very happy that they're here along with many of our students and parents and representatives from uh, Valero who are with <coughs> us tonight uh, Jack Merrill, Jimmy Starr, Jimmy Cam and Richard Moon Nyland and Dale who also Nyland who helps out with uh, many of our events and we appreciate all of you for being here and of course we have uh, our very own Miss Jeremy Kurth and Mr. Paul Fry with Special Olympics and with Special Education that you do such a wonderful job. Thank you very much. And Allison. Oh, and Allison Gross. I'm sorry, Allison. <laughs> and Allison. Well, thank so, you, Miss Dysart. Thank you. Appreciate very much. that. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the St. Bernard Parish School Board. As a special education supervisor for our great district, and on behalf of the St. Bernard Parish Public School Special Olympics Planning Committee members and the Special Olympics. Olympians here with us tonight. Mr. Fall, Paul Fry, who's our event director. Ms. Allison Grow, our special education coordinator. Our athletes, Adam Jones. Ms. Fain. Darren Chernacosta. And uh, Alexis Hernandez. Thank you. <laughs> we also have part of our planning committee with us tonight, too, Mr. Alvin Jones. Miss Kim Jones and last but not certainly least our dear friend Mr. Richard Neeling and his wife. It gives me great pleasure to speak to you tonight and shed a light on the reason why we are here. Ironically we, cho we chose tonight to recognize our outstanding community partner at our school board meeting as it is also known as hashtag giving Tuesday. Although giving Tuesday may be a global movement which uses social media to link many generous donors to many different deserving charities. Tonight, we want to recognize the generosity of our community business partner, Valero Miro Refinery. Each fall, Valero chooses a recipient to donate the proceeds raised from their annual Valero Fish and Rodeo held at the Hopedale Marina in St. Bernard. This Fish and Rodeo brings together the collective power of a unique blend of partners and families to encourage and amplify the act of ki kindness. In conjunction with Valero, this year's title sponsors were the Miro Foundation, Hydro Kim, Stronghold Specialty, and Keystone, as well as many in-kind contributions. I am overjoyed to announce that the St. Bernard Parish Public Schools Special Olympics was chosen as the beneficiary of this community event. The St. Bernard Parish School Board is gracious to have such a supporting community partnership with Valero and so many others. Valero has been and continues to be a blessing to our school system and also to our local Special Olympians. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you our Valero community partners who will present this year's proceeds to us. Tonight we have Vice President and General Manager Mr. Jack Morell. Our rodeo, or their rodeo, Planning Committee Chairperson Mr. Jimmy Cam. 
And lastly, Mr. Jimmy Starr, who's also on the Rodeo Planning Committee. I would also like to recognize the family members present tonight and supporting of our Special Olympians. If you don't mind standing, please, our families. Thank you. So I'll turn it right over to uh, Mr. Mr. Um, Morell. Thank you. Thank you. Well, on, on behalf of uh, Valero, and as she said, many of our other business partners are the reason that we were able to uh, put this event on. This was our third one. Uh, the first year we made $19,000, and that went to the St. Bernard Battered, uh, oh no, it was uh, the ARC was the first year. Last year it was $41,000 uh, to the St. Bernard Battered Women's Shelter. And this year, the check is wrong because we had more money come in it's actually $61,000. So we're very proud to, to be a member of this parish, and uh, I'm glad that through, you know, many volunteers, uh, Jimmy led the effort, but we had about another 30 people at least. We had uh, many, many companies donate goods. Uh, and a lot of people got to fish and have a great time, which I know is part of the culture down here. So yes. thank you for letting us be part of your community. Thank you. Thank you so much. Go ahead and shake All right, Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Good job, Matt. Congratulations. Yeah. Good. Thank you. 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 We also would like to give you, on behalf of the um, Sacred Heart Parish School Board, a little notebook um, so you can continue to write and keep us in the journal. <laughs> thank you very much. Is there a blank checks in here? There is a thank you card if that helps. So maybe. <laughs> Ms. Jack, that's that that notebook's actually for next year. So you tally in the uh, the proceeds, and you know exactly how much you're gonna have. We got more. that spreadsheet going. <laughs> Just for the record, our goal, I'm putting a lot of pressure on Jimmy, our goal next year is going to be 100000 Oh, my God. God. We, we had 350 attendees, and we're looking maybe to, to cap it at maybe 450 or so. 450, so. 500 is about most we can go without getting really too big. Too big. Yeah. That's great. There's well, an application big. fee that we do, and so we apply to um, their organization for the funds, and they use their rubric and go through it, and that's... How we were chosen, so we you know that we're going to spend the monies very wisely, and of course, they're all for the children. So yeah, thank for you. a fantastic Absolutely. cause. Mm -hmm. And on behalf of the entire board, we just want to sincerely thank um, Valero for this very generous donation. We do appreciate it, and as Ms. Kurth said, it will go. It will be very well spent for our students and all of their. Um, activities so we really really appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts and we thank you for choosing St. Bernard Parish Special Olympics for this cause we really do thank you so very much and to all of the employees and everyone who helped out in this benefit thank you very much thank you we appreciate it. <laughs> well, the fact that we, um, I wanted to give Paul for helping out and just being around when I had questions and so I'm, you know where the money's on and how things work and which way this is going and can you help me with this and it's just a plaque of the uh our logo the fishing rodeo oh in that house it's got St. Bernard Parish special Okay, and before you leave, Ms. Voce would like to say a few words, please. I, I just want to echo Ms. Dysart's comments. Um, community members like Valero just don't come along every day, and, and we appreciate everything that you do for our school system and many, many other uh, contributions that you make to other groups within our school system. 
but uh, most especially with the Special Olympians. I know that um, the day that we hold the Special Olympics, it's such a wonderful day to see the tremendous community involvement in that activity as well. And I know you presented something to uh, Mr. Fry, but I understand that he's also going to be a coach for the Louisiana State team that will compete at the national level in the Special Olympics, and we'll have some of our students participating as well. So we have been very, very active within um, the Special Olympics community, and we could not have done those types of things without the tremendous support of the people in St. Bernard Parish and, of course, our business partners such as yourself that are able to make these major contributions to keep this going and to give our children the opportunities that they deserve. So thank you so much for everything that you have done for our children and for many of our other children in the school system in the other types of donations that you continue to, to contribute to. So thank you. You're quite welcome. We'll have to see if we can get Paula Valero fish and rodeo hat to wear the That's <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, thank you, Mr. Granberry. Okay, next item is a motion to approve the Head Start annual report and update. There was a recommendation by the committee. There's a motion by Dr. Lewis, seconded by Mr. Long. Any discussion? Okay, there being none, please cast your votes. Motion passes 11-0. Thank you. Next item is a motion to approve the revised 2017-2018 general fund and special revenue funds budgets. There was a recommendation from the committee. Motion by Mr. England, seconded by Mr. Warner. Any discussion? Cast your votes, please. Motion passes 11-0. Thank you. Next item is a motion to approve the lowest bidder on the bid tabulation for spices and seasonings. <coughs> class two, cereal, dried beans and crackers. Class three, frozen foods. Class five, meat and meat products. Class six, poultry and eggs. Class seven, seafood products. Class eight, and canned goods. Class nine. There was a recommendation by the committee. There's a motion by Ms. Lemoyne, second by Mr. Campbell. Any discussion or que are there any questions? Okay, please cast your votes. Motion passes 11 0. Thank you. Next item is a motion for permission to solicit bids for the demolition of Sebastian Roy School. Do you want to put it all in one name and to appoint? Sure, we can. Yes. <clears throat> okay, an inclusive of uh, a motion would be to appoint Lakeen Architects. APC to prepare bid documents for the demolition of Sebastian Roy School. Okay, is there a motion on the floor? There's a motion by Dr. Lewis, yeah. second and, yeah, I'm sorry? Dr. Oh, you made the motion, I'm sorry. Dr. Kraft makes the motion and Ms. Dr. Lewis seconds it. Okay, discussion, Ms. Ote? Um, as you know, we're wrapping up our projects from uh, Hurricane Katrina. And as we've discussed many times over the past few years, the um, building at Sebastian Roy has been deemed by FEMA to be not salvageable to support columns. The concrete um, is unsafe, will not allow us to occupy the building or to renovate it. So we have to demolish it as a condition of receiving funds from FEMA. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Foche. And I know several, I know we've made the point at many meetings, but um, a lot of the community members are asking, why can't we salvage it? Why can't we salvage it? And it's not a question of, of our choice of Correct. trying to salvage it. FEMA is telling us we have to salvage it. Correct? Correct. So we the, have the architect school board. and engineering studies which have deemed the um, property unsafe to occupy okay. because of the compromising of the columns. So as sad as, as it is to see, you know, in a historical school be demolished, um, it's not a choice that we, we can make. Yeah. FEMA has made that choice for us. Mm -hmm. So just to clarify that. Mr. Campbell, did you want to say something on that note? I, I know will. that's dear to your heart, too. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will vote no because I represent that area. And that building has uh, a lot of meaning, not only to me, but to the people in that district. Mm -hmm. I taught in that building for uh, quite a few years. Mm -hmm. And out of respect for uh, my constituents, I will vote no. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Campbell. Anyone else on the subject? Okay. There being no further discussion, please cast your votes. Okay, um, motion passes to four, six, eight votes, eight votes for, two votes against, and one abstention. So motion passes. Okay, thank you, Ms. Foche. Okay, and I'm, sh um, I, I'm sure Mr. Lakeen will, if now that he's appointed, he'll be giving us updates on the, the progress of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Next item are items to be placed on the agenda of the next committee meeting. 
Anyone? Okay. All right, next item was superintendent's recommendations. And Ms. Bocek? Okay, um, I guess we hope everyone had a really nice Thanksgiving and we're in the final stretch of the first semester. In fact, the high school and of course state testing, uh, the window begins opening tomorrow, so our students at the high school level will be taking many of the end of course tests over the next three weeks uh, for those who are completing them in this first semester. Uh, just a reminder that the Christmas show at Shelman High School is December 7th and 8th, and the um, Christmas production at Dockville, where many of our schools are participating, is that next Saturday, December 9th. And for the individual school performances at the elementary and middle school levels, please check your school calendars and the school websites, and they, you will find the dates and times and locations there. Um, I do want to take this opportunity to thank everyone in St. Bernard Parish uh, for the recent, uh, for the election results, for the passage of uh, the millage, which will renew our existing millages. Uh, thanks for you for the faith and trust that you've placed in us as a school system and this board and in our administration and teachers. And we will make a pledge to continue the good work that we do and to continue to be good stewards of the public funds. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody um, understood that. And uh, there will be a special meeting prior to the committee meeting on Tuesday, December 12th for the annual superintendent's evaluation. Okay, that'll take the special meeting will take place at 5 o'clock, correct? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Foche. Okay. And if every all the board members, if you would, please uh, turn in your evaluation so that they could be tallied to Ms. Um, Benazak. We would appreciate that also before the meeting um, at that time. Does anyone else? And also, we do we, just for the public's um, information, we have to evaluate the superintendent every year and then send that evaluation to the state. So that is mandated. So, okay. Anyone else? Okay. Is there a motion to adjourn at this time? Motion from Ms. Acevedo, seconded by Mr. Campbell. All in favor of the motion to adjourn, signify by saying aye. aye.